Sanjay, yeah, first, uh, there were pretty quick reactions uh, on Tuesday throughout the region to these uh, sanctions voted on by the U.N. Security Council Monday night. You can expect what the uh, regime of Kim Jong-un said. Uh, they were fairly negative. One official calling them evil, saying that South Korea would inflict, and this is his word, the greatest pain on the U.S., promising a whole range of new confrontations. The U.S. allies in the region, South Korea and Japan, they were positive about them. China and Russia, a little bit more mealy-mouthed, saying they want talks. Analysts we've been hearing from in the region say they're not too sure. They didn't go far enough. They were a little bit more incremental instead of dramatic, maybe sounding a bit like uh, President Trump's take on this, uh, Sandra. Greg, we understand you have been watching military maneuvers. Absolutely. That's why we're down here in the uh, city of Pohang, a uh, uh, coast, uh, southeast, uh, South Korean uh, coastal town, just about 20 minutes away from here as we were watching both U.S. and uh, and South Korea Marines involved in joint live fire. Most of that stuff is real ammunition, live fire exercise involving tanks and choppers and artillery, mortars, uh, grenade launchers, machine guns, you name it, all aiming at an objective at the end of this ravine that we were in. Uh, kind of a firing range. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the, the objective was a North Korean military uh, target. Now, this is just one of several drills that the U.S. and the South Korean military are involved with each year for the past many years. But now it's a little bit more important. And partly, yes, it's a show of force. Also, partly, it's a way for these uh, soldiers, these Marines, these troops to get to know each other and know how to fight with each other just in case. Take a listen to uh, a few of the troops we talked to. We're just uh, doing combined arms training with the uh, Rock Marines. Rock Sorry. Marines, South Korean. Yes, sir. What do they like to work with? They're just, they're all around good guys, honestly. It's real training for them. Uh, they get a lot out of it, and uh, it uh, continues to keep our allegiance with the uh, South Korean Marines. So it's pretty real. Sandra, everybody I spoke to, to on Tuesday avoided talking about politics, but it's hard to avoid hearing the threats, seeing the actions of the North Korean regime yeah. just north of the DMZ from this country and the reason really why those folks are out there day after day. Back to you. All right. Greg Palcott in South Korea for us. Thank you.